Hello and welcome to my channel folks. Now I will tell you how to run Quadro T400 or T600 or T1000 on Windows 7. You need to know this because Windows 7 does not support Nvidia Quadro T400, T600 and T1000. But because it's just cut down GTX 1650, you can use GTX 1650 driver. To make it happen, you need to go to official site of NVIDIA and download official gaming driver for 1650. So we just download latest driver for 1650 for Windows 7. We send it to the desktop. You need to click right mouse button and run as administrator. We can see the place where we will install driver. We copy this direction. We go into this folder where the driver will be installed. Of course, driver will not install because system does not understand what T400 means. But before uninstalled mark will pop out, we go into the display driver folder and we keep in Red cross mark opened, not closing it, will be needed for not deleting the files that driver just tried to install. From the folder display driver we need NVCVI, you can copy it to the desktop too. Now you can close red cross warning from driver. We just open an NVCVI inf like a text, going straight down and searching video cards. There will be no 1650 in there, but the driver is fits for many cards. I choose one of the 1060. I mark it as GTX 400. Now we copy this number, NVIDIA DEV, pushing Ctrl F to find in text. We see NVIDIA DEV and identificator of the device. First, I install video card into system without any drivers. Then I go to my computer, system, device manager. It will say it's some VGA adapter. Right mouse click, properties, information, ID of equipment, that's ID of the video card. We need second line. We are copying that. In the place where 1060 ID is situating, we need to replace it with ID of T400. So we just made one of 1060 into NVIDIA Quadro T400. We need to make it just for Windows 7 can see T400 as new video card. Closing and saving NVCVI inf. So now we have change file NVCVI that we just remake. It's not standard anymore. One more time we run in driver in administrator mode and copy folder where it will be installed. We need to go to this folder and replace original file in driver of NVIDIA to the OS file that we just made. We need to do it while it's installing, not when it will be done. That's pretty much it. We just replaced NVCVI file in the folder of installation, so driver while installing will read ID from that file will see our card as GTX 1650 and will install driver as for 1650. You can install any latest driver the same way. For any video card it's necessary, it's working not only with Quadro cards but with any server cards or others. Of course, I recommend you after installing driver go to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience and disable driver update. You need to push arrow install this driver anyway, the bottom one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.